you want your dolls to look realistic, you have to dress them in real baby clothes. So whether that is right in your friends who have babies, drawers of clothes that their baby has grown out of, or it's going thrifting. Hello, fellow reborn gardeners and lovers. So in today's video, I am gonna show you my little mini haul. It's a thrifted haul and it's baby clothes, reborn clothes. So my local thrift store has finally opened up since March the 8th. So I finally made it in there to see what they have. The section of baby clothes or children's clothes they have is quite, quite scant in comparison with adult clothing. So the baby section is really small. I'll show you the clip. So let's go ahead and start. It's a really small haul. My budget was $10 and I think I did pretty well. So the first item is this little sweater. It's um, newborn slash zero months and it's by Jimbury Baby. It's quite an expensive store, baby store. I'm not sure it's still around, but it must be. An original price in Canada is $35.50 and in the US $29.50. How much do you think I got it for? So it says $5 and the lady was like, since it's a five, it says five, you can pay three. And I was like, no, nope, I'll pay $1.99 like the rest. And if that's the case, then I'll take them. So she gave them to me <laughs> along with another item, which I'll leave for last. So it's really soft gray color with some pastel colors here. And it has this detail in on the back here. Buttons, two buttons. So it's easier to go over the baby's head. The next item is similar, except it's like a, a shooting star. And again, same brand, Jimbury Baby, zero to three months. Another gray number. I really like gray on babies and myself in general I like gray, but it's not like I had a lot to choose from. So <laughs> these are one of the few things they had that would fit the reborn. Same brand. The size is zero to three months. And this is a shooting star and the star part's golden. This is a detailing, no detailing on the back. I would imagine this is meant to be for a girl, a baby girl, but why the heck can't a baby boy wear this? Maybe it's the shape of it, but it's really cute. All right, so the next item, the next item since we're on this sweater game is, look at this cutie, it's a cardigan, it's my wife's favorite. And it's hard for you to see it, the sun is out, but look how cute this pattern is. I'm trying to show you on an angle. So you can see, and this is for newborn zero months. Oh, look at it. It's a little cardigan and the buttons are real. You know, sometimes buttons are not real for baby items, but this is real. It's really cute. And it's um, ivory colored or cream or off-white. It's really nice and soft. Really cute. Original price, again, $35.50 Canadian, $29.50 US. Do people really pay these prices for baby clothes? Especially reborn babies? 
I really hope not. You gotta hit up the sales and hit up the thrift stores and oftentimes you find tags on the clothing. All three of these items on hangers have tags, okay? They're not even used ever, so. Let's move on to the next two items. Just two more items, and again, it's themed. I'll show you the first one, and then my very favorite will be last. Look at it. It's a sleeper with buttons, these kind of metal buttons. Don't mind my neighbors. They have water parties all the time. Oh, it has stopped. So look at it, it's gray, like a light gray with uh, flowers, floral pattern, kind of pink in there. I tend to go for more neutral clothing for babies and even for my own clothes in terms of color. I, I don't like super bright colors or super girly colors, but I thought this was so cute. And again, they didn't have a lot of options. This is Child of Mine, made by Carter's, zero to three months. And it is, yeah, polyester. I think the rest of the items I showed you, these two are cotton. And if it's a real baby, I definitely recommend cotton and, st and stay away from unnatural fabrics. But this looks super warm and cozy with footies. So you don't need to put socks on the baby the reborn and we all know that reborn babies are not real but how people feel about them is real right <laughs> The next item, I hope I haven't shown you by accident, is my favorite. It's another sleeper. Ta-da! I hope you can see because the sun is washing out everything. So it's another sleeper. And it's by Carter's. It's six months. And I can imagine this being for an older baby, like a Saskia. Maybe. I'm not sure Gabby Gill would fit this, but this is six months. So I think it's way too way too big for a newborn obviously a newborn reborn or a newborn baby but it's gonna be really cute for a bigger baby and you see the footies and this is my favorite item it's very soft and also $1.99 so all these items were $1.99 which brought me to a total of $10 before taxes after taxes is $11.25 for five items Okay, if you, if you divide that by five, which is the number of items I got, then I pay $2.25 for, per item, which is very good. Basically, it's $1.99 plus tax. Yeah, it's really good, $2.25 per item.
and the best part of this is that it's sustainable. These are items that are already made. I'm not supporting a big name store just to support them and just to have a bunch of clothing. I'm being sustainable by thrifting and I feel a lot better about myself buying things from the st thrift store than buying online to Baby Gap, which I've done in the past, or Old Navy. So that's the most exciting part. As a vegan, I definitely want to bring my values and morals into this business. So I don't want to just follow the herd and get clothing that was made by children and it's made in slave-like conditions. I don't want to support that. So as much as I can, I will opt for thrift and I will um, seek customers and seek reborn lovers who are sustainable, sustainably minded and prefer things that are thrifted. And of course, gently used, always in good quality and um, cute still. So that's it. These are This is my haul right here. And um, I'll add in some clips of the thrift store and um, closer images of the items I got. So hit up your favorite thrift store and challenge yourself. Go in there with your reborn if you want. Um, and you can see alongside the reborn to see what colors would maybe suit the reborn or the reborn that you're you're going to be painting or whatever it is for portraits you can see or you can just take an image on your phone if you're too afraid to go in there with your actual reborn but you shouldn't be because it's not of anyone's business what you like to do with your life okay thanks for watching this video and i hope it was inspiring at all to you um, let me know in the comments if you've been thrifting for your reborns or if you're an artist who is sustainably minded and you send your babies home with gently used clothing, secondhand or thrifted clothing. I'm very interested in that. As a vegan, I also obviously will not buy babies with mohair because mohair is not vegan friendly. Mohair comes from animals. And so I have to use hair that is human hair or thrifted hair thrifted <laughs> human hair or synthetic so I'm learning to do all of that but at first I want to master painting which doesn't limit me from getting a doll from an artist I really enjoy so um, make sure you like this video give it a thumbs up comment and share your experiences with um, thrifting with buying baby clothes and reborn clothes and let's have a party now comments so I'll see you in the next video Bye.